Hello, I'm Rob, and this is another results tutorial. Beware rebel scum. The best hunter in the galaxy has arrived and is ready to collect bounties. Bosk from Fantasy Flight Games Star Wars Legion. The first thing you notice about this mini is its size. This guy is gigantic. He's got to be the largest one released so far in this scale, and it, well, it makes him easier to paint. You might notice that the uh, two white marks on his arm before I started painting, that's actually a matte medium that I'm using to help seal the joints up. Uh, it's much easier to work with than putty and does not make those uh, that gigantic mess, actually, the putty does. So after basing the mini in black, let's start off with some model color green brown for all of his skin. I was actually rather happy with the way this color looked in the end, and it it fits with his clothing uh, pretty well too. Now for his jumpsuit, uh, you might want to try finding some uh, a darker yellow color for the base. Uh, I only had dark yellow in uh, the model airline, so it took me several coats to get this up to where I needed it to be. So if you have some in a thicker style, uh, do use that instead as it will save you a lot of time and going back over the same areas again and again. And for that area on his chest that looks like it was stolen from an X-Wing pilot, because I think it technically was, we're going to use some gray green here. Now this color is not really green, but it does have a tint of it, which kind of helps the spacesuit portion of the body blend into the other areas of the model very nicely. And it actually covers over black with ease, making it even better.
for all the crash webbing on the mini, I used a medium toned gray, such as uh, medium sea gray. Uh, the crash webbing is all the straps that are around his thighs and any that connect up to the flight suit on his back area also. For his belt, I used a Russian green. You could actually paint this the same gray as the webbing. I just felt like painting it a different color to add a little bit more variance to the miniature. So there's a hose that goes around his neck and another on his flight suit. This hose, allow, this hose allows Bosk to breathe outside his home world. The color for this is either going to be red or a brownish red. I've used a model air brown for its rich red tone, but uh, when it dries it still appears as a brown. Now for the nails and the teeth, uh, you want to use your favorite favorite uh, color combos here, or just go ahead and hit it with some khaki. Uh, Vallejo Game Color Khaki, uh, it does a really good job at this, and it's actually very comparable to Game Workshop's uh, Shop the Bone. On his uh, shin slash calf areas down there, there's there are these uh, they they look like little ammo holders or something, and so I hit the tops and the bottoms of that with some uh, model air steel. Uh, if you spill over into the black sections, don't worry, we can just cover it back up. Uh, if you spill onto the skin though, that's gonna be a little bit harder to cover up. So do be a little bit careful when you're working on his shin side and also on the pants side, I guess because we don't want to color up that yellow either.
So while we still got that steel that we just used on our wet palette, you want to go ahead and add in a dab of black. And for this, uh, go, over, go over the entire rifle and the thermal detonator. Using some light gray and black, we can give a highlight to the ammo pouches on his lower legs and then the vest underneath his flight suit. And moving on to highlighting the crash webbing with some light gray. Uh, do try and leave a little bit of the previous gray color showing along the edges or in the middles. Uh, you can then add just a brush tip of white to it and do a little bit of an extreme highlight down the center of some of the crash webbing sections. For his breathing tubes, uh, let's take some, let's take the original brown color that we used and add in just like a little tip of the brush with uh, some white and use that to pick up, pick out the upper sides of the hoses. And do be careful, you don't want to add too much white to this because it'll send it careening into that uh, pink tone that, and we don't want that.
Back onto the jumpsuit, mixing in some flat yellow to the dark yellow to give it a nice boost. Uh, you want to cover it just about all of the previous layer, you know, just doing your best to leave, you know, the, the recessed or the shaded areas in the previous color. For the skin, we're going to be mixing in some intermediate green to our green brown. Just enough to raise the color a bit, but not too high. Now you can go through and paint each and every single scale with a fine tip brush if you really feel like it. Or you can do a light and easy dry brushing. Uh, you don't want to do any flicking here as it, you know, it can make a gigantic mess on the other areas that we've already painted. And for his head, when, when you get it to his head up around the uh, the ears and the eyebrow areas or the bones that go over the top of his head mix in a little bit of white and pick that pick those areas out with a uh, with a detail brush
Moving on to his nails and his teeth again, this time using khaki with a little bit of white. We're going to try and highlight just on the very tips. Uh, you may want to use a finer tip brush for this, especially on his teeth, as they're actually pretty small and it's easy to make a mess. Now for those big piercing eyeballs on Bosque, uh, what I did was I took some red paint and I thinned it down to a nice glaze and I made a couple passes. The red should settle into the corners and leaving a nice black pupil in the center. Uh, just make sure that when you put a when when you put the glaze on, give it a minute, you know, let it let it dry up a little bit and then you know if you want some more red on it, just go back over it again and do the same, giving it a minute to dry. Moving on to the shading, I'm using a little bit of uh, Army Painter's Strong Tone, thinned down a little, and we're going to cover the entire mini. When you go to cover his flight jacket, you know, uh, do thin it down a little bit more and try to target the shade more into the recesses of the suit or else you'll have to wait for this to dry and go back over that again with the with that same gray green color so here we are the last step or second to the last step depending on how you look at it we're gonna take some dark yellow and that flat yellow mix we made earlier and we're gonna clean up his jumpsuit aiming for the tops of the folds and any areas where the clothing goes over his knees now you could also go back over any other areas and clean them up if you feel that they need them. I don't think I really went over too much after that wash. I just let everything be the way it was. So then you're gonna base your figure and give it a good coat of matte, matte varnish. And doing that, it uh, by covering it in a matte varnish after you're done painting it, it helps tie all your colors together. Uh, you know, it takes anything that's shiny and it mats it down really good, so all the areas kind of mix in. Here we are, folks, the most feared hunter in the galaxy, Bosk, from Fantasy Flight Games, Star Wars Legion. So, Bosk is kind of both easy and complicated to paint at the same time. He's easy because he's, he's bigger than the rest of them, but he's also slightly a little complicated in trying to get that his skin color just the right tone that you want it to be. But don't fear, just uh, if you mess up, just cleaning them off and you know try again other than that guys it's all light speed ahead from here remember to you can click on the affiliate links below to help my channel out 
these links do not cost you any extra, but they do go a long way in helping me make future videos. As we all know, miniatures are expensive. And then uh, you could also head over to patreon.com and sign up to be a supporter there to, you know, to continue to help my channel out. You could also be involved in uh, helping me decide what to paint and possibly win free minis like Bosk. Remember to like, subscribe, and share to help my channel grow and to see more videos like it. See you next time.